So in this video, we'll be talking about what is casuphenia. So uh, casuphenia is made completely from the cashew fruit. Uh, the first distill is called urak, which is drunk seasonally from Jan to May because that's the life period for it. It's very low ABV at around 20 to 25 percent, and it is very aromatic. The second distill, when you put two uraks together and re-distill again, and second distillation is your casuphenia that we drink out here in Goa, which has very high tropical notes. Now these are your summer fruit tropical notes like uh, pineapples, like uh, 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 guava, uh, mango, but it's very difficult to define it because the cashew fruit is a very unique taste. It's not something that you will generally come across with. Uh, I define it like a chili. So imagine if you've never had a chili before, and if I gave you a green chili and you took a bite, what you'd feel? You'd say it's horrible, and you'll never have. If I took that same green chili, and if I put it into a curry and I gave it to you, uh, you would say that curry is really awesome just because you had the right amount of spice. And that's how you drink cashew pain. It has a very strong note and very tropical, powerful note with a hint of pepper spice. Now the point is, how do you drink something that has such notes? And the classical way of drinking it is in a fresh lime soda because citrus is one of the flavors that go really well with it. Now when I speak about spice, it is not the sweet spice like cinnamon or star anise. It's the spicy spice like pepper, like green chilies, Tabasco. So there is a cocktail that we do with it. That's called the Peru Meru. Okay, so here I have a small pre-batch that uh, we give uh, uh, our guests to taste along with the cashew fany. Because the minute you taste cashew fany, the first expression of yours is like biting into a green chili. You'd be like, oh, it's so difficult to drink. And that's where bartenders or mixologists like us play a big role. It's where we tell our guests and we suggest them on how to drink this. So this is a spirit that will go good with any tropical flavors like guava, mango, jackfruit. Anything that grows in the summer. Jambul. So we do a cocktail with Jambul as well. But one of the best ones that we feel is Gawa. So we do something like your Bloody Mary. A variation of it. We call it the Peru Meru. Where we use Gawa juice instead of tomato juice. We use Tabasco as spice. We use uh, a little bit of chili salt on the rim. Uh, a little bit of lime juice. Not a lot. Just a 5 ml of lime juice. And we, and, uh, uh, and we make this cocktail called uh, the Peru Meru. Which... When you taste the same casuffini that you had straight up, when you taste it in a cocktail, will be so beautiful. Because those tropical notes of the fruit is let out, but those harsh notes that you are not used to, or the astringent notes that you are not used to, are hidden. And it's a nice tropical summer drink to enjoy below the hot sun and the humidity that you have in Goa. So that's about casuffini. So for more information on Feni and other spirits, do subscribe to the Cocktail Jockey and please do share it with your friends and family. Cheers from Gazulo and Fazenda Gazulo. Ciao.